Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how I did my painting Peacock. It's an 11 by 14 acrylic on Belgian linen. Enjoy! At this point I'm painting a pale blue background which will act as a sky. The color I'm using is just light blue permanent mixed with titanium white to make it even lighter. Here you see me doing my sketch in charcoal. I ended up covering all the feather detail I painted here, by the way. I realized it would be easier to paint the body in solid using the dominant color of a particular area than to paint around lots of tiny detail. I painted the lower third of his body pale gray, the upper third black, and the middle part a medium gray. Most of the gunner painting for this painting was done as part of a live stream, so that won't be included in the video because I wasn't able to record while I was doing it. You can read about this painting in more detail in the accompanying blog posts. There I walk you through every part of it step by step. I'm not sure what to add here except that I'm just finishing up the drawing. I'm sketching in the details of the feathers. When it came time to start adding color, I started by mixing a small amount of deoxyzine purple into a medium gray made by mixing zinc white and ivory black and applied this over most of the painting. I used more water for the area around the feathers so more of the underpainting would show through. I only had a small amount of paint on my brush for each stroke. I used a combination of a small round brush and a small filbert. For the head, I used the same blue and purple colors that I had mixed I also mixed the gray made from titanium white and Mars black with a lot of matte medium to make it sheer and applied that in a sheer glaze along the bottom. I mixed some burnt umber into that color along with more medium and applied a glaze of that on top. Lastly, I mixed some titanium white and Mars black and using a medium sized round brush applied strokes of this color to, to break up the massive brown and gray. I have some gray blue already mixed in a tube so I used it to paint part of the peacock's feathers with very levels of opacity depending on the area I was painting. Here I'm darkening the color of my sky around the, around the peacock. This is to make him look more three-dimensional. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And for live streams Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. I'll see you all next week. Bye!